How's it going everybody, Ben from Base at Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how you can buy Chinese Pokemon products for MSRP. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So you will need an agent purchasing service to buy Pokemon products of Taobao and the like. I personally use SugarGoo and I've only had positive experiences with them. Like throughout the process, they are always really really timely with their responses. And they also take pictures of any item you receive. So I'd highly recommend you use SugarGoo. Now of course you need to create an account of SugarGoo. That much is clear. What else do you need? Now you will also need a Taobao account. Usually you can browse Taobao without an account, but they tend to block your connection after browsing for like 3 pages. At least they do for me. So I'd highly recommend you get yourself a Taobao account. Now the easiest way to get a Taobao account is probably to download the app on your phone and then just sign up through your phone with your phone number and then after you have actually created an account through your phone, upon logging in you can actually scan the QR code right here and that way you will log in really quick and without the hassle of trying to go through the website's sign up service. Now browsing Taobao can be pretty difficult if you can't read Chinese, so I highly recommend you get yourself a Translate Web Pages add-on. Now if you use Google Chrome you won't have to get this because it is integrated into the web browser itself, but for me because I use Firefox I'll have to get an add-on and this is the one I recommend, this is the one that I use. It works really really well and it gets the job done so to speak. Now you might also ask yourself, well how do I know which products are currently releasing in China? And what are the names of these products? I think the best way to find that out is to actually use the official Pokemon China website. It's just pokemon.cn right here and if we click over to trading card game right here, if I were to disable my um, auto translate, it's the button right here on the very right shows up a little bit blue, give it a bit of time to load and right down here you will see all the TCG related news. And for the sake of this video and for demonstration purposes, I will be buying a booster box of the upcoming set at the time of recording this video. Shadows of Light Expansion or Shadow of Glory has a really really cool name. So all we have to do right now is to just show the original and since this is in quotations, we already know that this is the set name. So I'm just gonna copy this right here and paste it into Taobao. You could add the Chinese word for Pokemon up as well. I sometimes do that, which is this word right here. I've pasted it so many times that I know. I'm just gonna copy this right here. Don't worry, I will have these all in the description so you can use these whenever. And just paste that up to the front. Make sure to have a space in between. And if I were to translate just this word right here, it translates to Pokemon. If I were to translate both of these, it translates to Pokemon Shadow Glory, which is the newest expansion. Now, as you can see right here, there are a ton of offers on Taobao. And now you might ask yourself, well, which store do I choose? Technically, I want to say it really doesn't matter. You can sort by sales volume, and that kind of gives you an idea which store is most popular. As you can see right here, it seems that this store is the most popular. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Card Shop and they have 5 diamonds which is a really really good rating for sellers. This seller also has multiple other expansions up right here. They also have the last expansion up right here which is Brave Enchanting Stars which I opened on the channel. Go check out that video if you're interested. But for my purposes and the seller that I use and I have had good experience with them, it's actually the seller right down here with very little sales surprisingly. This is the seller that I use for actually some of the past openings that I've done on the channel. They also have three crowns and as far as I understand it, three crowns is a very very good rating on Taobao. So all you have to do now is copy the link of the web address, copy the whole link, hit copy, go over to SugarGoo once again. On the website, once you have created an account, go on the main website, make sure to select product right here, paste it in and hit enter. 
Also, if we scroll down a bit further, we can see the description that would be on Taobao. It's the exact same on Taobao. I think they just pull it directly from him. So there you go. So after you found the product and you're on the product page on Sugargoo, just hit down right here. I agree. Select your desired amount. I will only choose one item and hit to add card. Now, if we head over to our card right here, you can see the item is now in my card. It is 30 euros and 30 cents, which is MSRP and pretty darn cheap if you ask me. So now all you have to do is just select the buyer you want to pay right now. If you have multiple items from different sellers, they will all be in their own tier. So right down here, there will be another seller. Just select the seller that you will want to pay right now. For me, I only have one. So I'll just choose this one right here and I'll go to checkout. So this brings you to this next window. I would recommend for the for the select order service, select priority purchase. It's only a few cents, but then you make sure that the random agent assigned to you will actually try to buy it really quick. Also hit a check mark right here where it says authorized deduction from the difference. Because when you charge up the money on your account to actually pay the item, I always recommend you charge up a bit more. Not only because the item might get suddenly more expensive, no, you will also have to pay shipping anyways. And authorized deduction from the difference basically means if the item suddenly gets a little bit more expensive, it will automatically deduct. If it is too much, the agent will usually ask you if the price increase is fine or if you want to cancel the order. There are also a few other options right here if you select services for the item itself. For the most part, in terms of Pokemon cards, these really don't matter as much. Just make sure that the standard inspection has a check mark next to yes because then they will actually take photos of your item. It's also free, so why not, right? And right here is where you can select an agent. Usually I wouldn't bother with an agent right here. Um, just choose random agent, it's free, and for the most part, they are perfectly fine. And then just go ahead and pay. Now, you could pay the item as it is right now, just through PayPal. What I usually do is I go onto my account and go onto my balance right here. And I just hit top up right here, which is the exact same as you would do when you would pay an order. I just usually charge up my account right here. So let's just say I want 500 UN. I have to purchase the item and I will have to pay shipping. So I'll just charge up my account right here. And it's the exact same procedure as if you were to buy an item, as you can see right here. It just opens up a new window, it looks like an order, but you're actually not paying for the item. You're actually paying to charge up your account. So what I do now is I just change my region to Germany, which is where I'm from. I also always choose PayPal and I change my currency to Euros because, well, that's what I use and just hit pay now and you will be redirected to PayPal. Just go through your PayPal payment as you would normally do. I have done so right now. And as you can see right here, you have paid successfully. If I were go to onto my account right here, you can see my balance is now 500 yuan. So if I just reload the web page of the order, as you can see right here, now a new payment method is available to me right now, which is balance. So I can now pay for my balance. I don't have to use PayPal anymore, which is exactly what I'll do. And as you can see here, my balance is 500 yuan and this item costs 243 yuan. And this is what I'll pay using my balance. So if I hit pay now, I will have to enter my payment password, which is something you will have to set upon creating your account. There are two passwords you will need for Sugargoo. Of course, you need your normal account password and you will also need to set up a payment password. So right there, I have paid successfully once again. Your order will be pro processed for the first time within six hours. So if I head over to my member centers right here and click view on the thing that I just ordered. So as you can see right here, this is my order of the Shadow of Glory booster box that I just paid. Everything is in here. Also the priority purchase services that I added, which is really, really helpful. Also the agree to authorized difference deduction, which is really important. I now still have 257 new one left over. They can deduct some difference without messaging me. If the price gets too, too high, they will message you regardless. So then you can decide if you still want the item or if you want to wait. 
or if you want to cancel the order, sorry, if you want to cancel the order. Well, all we have to do now is wait for the item to arrive, and once it does, we will continue this tutorial. Okay, so a few days have passed and the booster box that I ordered has now arrived at the Sugar Goo Warehouse. They have stopped the item and taken pictures of it, so now we can review. One thing that I wanted to note before we do continue, we also have this messaging center. As you can see right here, you also get notifications about all kinds of stuff. First of all, you get the notifications if the product has been purchased. If the agent wasn't able to purchase the product, you will have an information verification saying that they didn't or they weren't able to buy the, the product. And you will get a refund to your balance of sugar goo. So you can find a seller that also offers the item on Taobao. But that is very rarely. To me, it has only really happened with the first anniversary gift boxes, just because they were so thought after. But in terms of these normal sets, these normal Pokemon expansions, hasn't happened to me yet. But as you can see right here, notification that the product has been purchased. We also get notifications if the seller on Taobao has shipped the item to Sugar Goo. And we also have the notification, this is the last notification that you will get regarding the product itself that the product has been stocked. Just wanted to point this out. And as you can see right here, I do have a few more items than just this booster box. But for the sake of this video, let's just take a look at this booster box. So if I were to go onto order details right here, you can see we have this booster box right here, the price we paid, the status it is currently in the packing center. And we can also, if something isn't right, we can also check some of these books. But first, as you can see right here, they do take five pictures of this product and you can open them. They're really, really big. They take really close ups. I wish on, on this booster box in particular, they would have taken a picture of the seal, but I have good experience with the seller. So for me, this is fine. If for whatever reason, you're not happy with the pictures they took, you can hit this button right here, the add on services, and you can hit the personalized photograph. It costs 26 cents for me, which is really cheap for like a picture that you really, really want to make sure it is the product that you're really after, or it is a fake, then you can say, no, this is not what I want, send it back. That only applies to if the seller on Taobao offers refunds. Um, usually they will message you before they even buy the product. They'll say this buyer or this seller doesn't offer a refund on this product after it has been purchased. Are you okay? And then you have to verify the information. Let me actually show this. Okay, so this is where you would go if the agent messages you something about the product that you want to buy. You go to request for processing and then you hit the view action button right back here. And you see everything, the product that you want to buy, so on and so forth. And then right here, um, the seller informs you that um, they don't offer refunds and then you just reply, hello, that is okay, please proceed with the purchase or if you're having second thoughts, you can say, okay, don't purchase it, refund me. But, you know, I purchase it because I do want the products. So there you go. Then I proceeded and then they purchased the products. That's just on a side note right there. Now, if everything is okay with the product that you've bought, you go over to your packaging center. And as I've said earlier, you can see that I do have a few more products in my packaging center than just this booster box. For the sake of this tutorial, though, the same process applies to whatever kind of products you have, or it doesn't matter how many. One thing will be different though, the shipping for these five products will be a little bit more expensive than if I were just to buy the booster box. One thing to point out, and as you can see right here, I can select single items that I want to ship. If I want to keep something in the warehouse for a little bit longer, I can do that. And as you can see right here, Sugar Goo actually stores the items for you for a hundred days, which is insane. So let's just hit select all items since I want to ship all of these items to me. And we're just going to hit submit parcel right here. All right. And here we are in the packaging center, so to speak. So all of these items I've just selected are listed right here with the prices that I've paid and also the weight and the volume in cubic centimeters. And if you order more items and you might be worried that something might get crushed or you want some some extra protection for that product itself, you can click right here to the add on services button and you can add some other options right here. Most of them is just for shoes, but then you can um, maybe do this one and then get some EPE foam protection. For me though, I'm fine because they always package the items very safely. 
so I'm good as they are. Right down here will be your address, I will have edited it because I don't want to dox myself, but this will be the address you set first upon creation. We can also see that the estimated weight of the package is 2 kilos, which is really, really, really lightweight. Alright, so here we have the shipping options right there. And these will change depending on where you're from and where you're shipping these items to. For me, DHL is the cheapest one and by personal experience, they are very reliable, although they are not the quickest. As you can see right here, shipping time 10 to 15 days. From personal experience, it takes about two to three weeks for these items to show up to at my doorstep. And for the sake of this video though, usually I would just go for DHL if you're located in Europe or maybe Germany, um, this works best. But for the sake of this video, I will actually be choosing FedEx. All right, and here we are with FedEx. It is twice as expensive as DHL, but I really want to get these items as quick as possible. So I'll be using FedEx for the sake of this video right here. If you can wait for the item, it's usually okay to choose DHL. A few shipping methods that I really, really wouldn't recommend are of course these right here. We have Railway. I'm pretty sure they might also have ship, although because I'm located in Europe, they might not offer um, like actual buy by ship. Um, if you live in the US, they might, but they usually take like three or four months. It's really, really slow, of course. And then these railways, you can also see here by the shipping time. Wouldn't recommend using them. I mean, this is barely cheaper than DHL and it takes like so much longer. And as I said, for the sake of this video, I will be using FedEx. If you can wait for the items, just choose DHL or whichever one is cheapest, but also relatively fast. Okay, so we have selected FedEx right here. And if we scroll down a bit further, we can see all of these informations. We can see the upper weight limit, which is 20 kilos, which my package really falls under. And then also the total length limit right here. And then you need to do a customs declaration for these items. For me, I'll just entrust Sugargoo to do it. That's the easiest thing to do, basically. Just let them do it so we don't have to worry about finding the right um, tariff codes and tariff numbers and so on and so forth. Um, if you're not advanced in that topic, it can be really difficult. So let's just, just let Sugargoo do it. That's the easiest thing. I will also be buying insurance for the package, though. And since I have paid around 179 yuan, uh, Chinese yuan or renminbi, whatever you want to call it, it is around 138 euros. So I will be paying insurance for 138 euros right here. As you can see, the premium is only 4 euros extra. So yeah, we will be doing that. You can also see right here if you have some coupons, which when you're first signing up, you will have a lot of coupons that you can use on your first order. So you will actually save a lot of money when you first sign up. I do not have any coupons, so I will just pay as is. And you can see the total amount right here is 58 euros. Really expensive if you think about it shipping. Like, I should definitely use, use DHL if I want to save some money. But as I said, I do want these items fairly quickly. If I were to choose DHL, the price would probably be um, around 30 euros. But let's just hit checkout right here. Okay, and here we have the order form. Looks the exact same as it does when you are paying a product or when you're topping up your account. And as you can see right here, I still have a little bit of balance over for when I first topped up my account when ordering the booster box. So I will be using every single um, cent or renminbi, I guess not cent, renminbi of this, um, of my balance and using that towards the total price. You can see right here, we do have some service fees and so on. Of course, the rest of the amount I will be paying with PayPal. Everything is set. My country of region is correct. My currency is correct. And if I hit pay now, it should deduct the difference and I should be paying um, a little bit less than 61. Let's see. I have to enter my password. My payment password will hit OK. All right. And as you can see right here, I got the total down from 60 to 28 because I used my leftover yuan. So let's just go um, hit continue. And there we go. And once you have completed a package, you'll get to spin this this wheel right here. You get one free spin after an order. And let's see what we land on. It's just a neat little thing. There we go. We got a 10 yuan coupon. We're going to accept the price. We're going to click out of that. And now it's done. And if we head home. All right. And here we are. If we head over to our parcel tab right here, you can see all of these items that we have just submitted to a parcel right there. 
and we can also hit parcel detail which i've already done in this tab right there you can basically see everything that we already know Although you can see right here, final freight, exact weight and exact volume is different. From personal experience, usually they charge like a few yuan more to make sure they actually pay like the correct amount. And everything that you pay too much in terms of shipping fees, they'll refund right into your balance. So that is something to point out right here. And there you go, all the items are listed, and then and then as soon as they have actually packaged all the items and shipped them with FedEx, we can also get the we will also get the um, tracking number right down here, as well as the status. One last thing to notice when the items have finally arrived, there will be an extra button right here where you have to confirm arrival of the package. And once you do that, you get a few points onto your account right here, which is what these are, and you can use these to like get some coupons on your next order. Right now, I, I could have used my 4,000 points to get a 50 yuan discount on all the um, the shipping lines, but I'll, I'll wait for 8,000 points, but there you go. Well, but that's basically how you order Chinese Pokemon products for MSRP using Sugar Goo. I hope I did get to show you that you can actually get these products for cheap, well, for MSRP. Don't overpay for these products. They're really, really affordable, and there is a lot of good sellers on Taobao. If you have any questions, though, do comment down below and I will try to help where I can. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace and take care.